Hi everyone, this is Kevin Alexander. Today I'm going to talk about my hometown of Fort Bragg, California. My son Carter's in the picture standing next to our own California Historic Landmark. As you can see, we're located on the USA Today weather map, which is kind of a big deal because we're a really small town. Population today is about 7,000 people. Sometimes it's hard to explain where you come from. I tell people I'm from Fort Bragg, they think I'm from Fort Bragg, North Carolina because I'm in the Army. But it's hard to explain. When all you know is the Pacific Ocean on one side and a redwood forest on the other of your main street. That's what I grew up with every day. We were named after this guy, General Braxton Bragg. At the time, the guy that named the town after General Bragg, Bragg was only a captain, so he wasn't a Confederate general and the Civil War hadn't started yet. Still, it's one of those things that you have to explain. We're not a Confederate state, and yet our town is named after a Confederate general. They started the town, which is Fort Bragg, which is a fort, as a garrison to take care of the Pomo Indians who were the native tribes that lived up here on the coast. They weren't doing anything but hunting, fishing, probably building some houses and trading with other tribes around the area. And as was the time uh, in the United States history, it was to take care of all the natives, which means exterminate them and put them on reservations. There's still Pomo living in Fort Bragg today and along the whole coast of California, but not a lot of people from Fort Bragg know that. We used to be famous for our redwood mill. We had an enormous Georgia Pacific mill, and a lot of our redwood trees were shipped on train and down boat to San Francisco, and a lot of our trees helped construct what is some of the oldest houses in San Francisco today. That is, before the fire burned everything down. Now we're known more for our seafood. We have crab, salmon, when it's running, and sometimes we uh, still catch uh, deep seedling cod. We have great restaurants. We have a wonderful view. A lot of people like to come up there and sightsee. And those two restaurants in the picture I worked at as a kid. We've had about 10 movies filmed here because of the scenery. Most of these films are depicting the East Coast because I guess our coastline looks so much like Boston and Maine series like Murder, She Wrote, and some of the other movies like Overboard here, they've been filmed here, and some of the old movies from the 50s and 60s. It wasn't until this guy, Cornelius Vanderstar, donated money from his foundation to build our public pool that anybody even knew who this guy was. I had to look him up and found out he was the founder of AIG. You'll know AIG by its failure as a bank, but before that it was one of the most successful banks in America. And this guy grew up born raised in Fort Bragg, started his own ice cream business, joined the army, and the rest is history. We're not known for too much. This young man, Taylor Sullivan last year, broke the California state passing yardage record. From a little town of Fort Bragg, where we only got 32 people on the football team, this kid threw for almost 4,000 yards in the season. So some things are not as they seem. Sometimes I just like to reminisce about home. I've been able to bring my boys and my wife and my relatives to see Fort Bragg so they could see where I grew up. I do love my town. I don't go back very much anymore, but sometimes it's good to reminisce. I hope you liked my story about Fort Bragg.